Not bad. Little brown trout. Just don't feel away. Christ, that water's cold. Ooh! <laughs> All right. Hey everyone, morning. Cornish Chris here uh, and I am fishing my last day on the River Spey in March of 2023. Uh, for those who are new here, please know I record fishing videos regardless of whether or not I catch a fish. For me, it's all about the experience of the day and catching a fish is just a bonus. Uh, so if you're new, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and everyone watching, please give us a massive thumbs up. Uh, so I recorded my intro earlier on this morning and I got all the way up to the banks getting ready to uh, get started and then was politely told by um, uh, somebody from across the other bank that I'm not allowed to have dogs. Uh, I thought uh, as I came down here over the weekend I thought I saw at least uh, four people um, throughout the weekend. I don't know why they were out in that terrible weather but I saw at least four people out here with dogs near them uh, with them and I thought well it'll be okay. But uh, clearly not, but uh, not wishing to fall foul of any regulations. Um, I have uh, put Theo back in the car, so at least he's had a run. I'm going to fish this for a couple of hours and then I'm going to be calling it quits. Uh, so if you fished here before, this is the Grand Town Association. Um, I'll put the information up into the, um, uh, into the description so you'll be able to find it. And I'm fishing pool number 20, uh, 21, all the way basically all the way down to this bridge behind me. Um, that's going to be my, uh, my the extent of my fishing today. Got to get everything packed up, ready to travel back to Cornwall tomorrow. Um, so yeah, just looking forward to my chances. Right. Well, I am fishing today with my Shakespeare Oracle 14 foot nine Scandi, uh, and I've got the Di3 uh, intermediate line set up. Uh, rivers on the drop, but and probably I could have done with just having the uh, floating line today. But as my, as a time of recording this, my, uh, the reel with my uh, floating line is still knackered. I'm waiting to get a new reel, which I'll get next week. <clears throat> so I've got the DI3 set up here and I'm using a very lightweight uh, dressed fly, yellow and black, willy gun type thing, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, so uh, thank you very much. So this one is uh, um, being supplied to me by my good friend, Matt's Trig, uh, that's at uh, fishing underscore Swede uh, and he supplied me all of most of my flies actually for uh, for my fishing adventures so big thanks to him finding on find him on Instagram uh, yeah so that's cool so yeah just gonna fish through pools 20 and 21 as I said in my introduction uh, see how we get on it is uh, one o'clock in the afternoon uh, yeah so as I say I've got to, I've got to go down to Cornwall I've got to go back home uh, next uh, tomorrow and uh, I'm going to be down there over Easter, uh, see family and friends, etc. 
and then I'm going to be back up here, hopefully, fishing on the River Urn. Uh, a friend of mine called Chris <coughs> has another guy called Chris. All, all the best people are called Chris. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so another, another friend of mine called Chris has very kindly invited me to join him for a week's fishing on the River Urn, which I've never been to before. Uh, and I'm looking forward very much to going. So that will be a few videos um, uh, detailing my experiences of that. Yeah, so that's like from the middle of April. And then after, April, uh, after the River Urn, I'm going to be up here in Scotland again for about two to three weeks. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go yet. I might come back up here to the Spey um, or I might just uh, settle you know, in the, in the Tay, Perth area. Don't know, haven't got any plans. I must actually, saying that, I must also connect uh, with my good friend Lee, who has invited me to come for a day on the Upper Delvin, I think it's called. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting down there for that. So I must make sure I, I do that as well in April. Yeah, all in all, it's been, it's been a pretty, pretty cool adventure actually. March, you know, I started here, what was it? I was up in Scotland from, I think it was the 3rd or 4th of March. I spent a week or so, 10 days, down on the River Tay, fishing down there, some really good places. Then after that, I mooched up here and I fished uh, on, the, on Tolkien, on the Spey. I've also fished on this trip at Orton, which is a beat I really wanted to visit because uh, I'd heard so many great things about it. And generally I wasn't uh, disappointed. You know, you can always say, oh, wouldn't it be great if you caught a fish? Well, of course it will. But, you know, the state of uh, uh, salmon numbers running through this year seems to be, seems to be lower, but at the end of the day, you know, it is, um, it is what it is. Now, if I jump onto this hillock here, am I going to suffer? <laughs> yep. Oh, God almighty. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just kind of clipping the bank at the minute. Not really looking to get in. It was quite bouldery there, but actually it looks pretty good uh, in the water. Oh, it's about, um, it's lovely sunshine, so it's about seven degrees now. It was snowing last night, but not snow. The snow didn't look like it was going to hold. You know? Yeah. I've not fished this pool before. Uh, it's got a really, it's got a, got a one of those amazing names that I know if I try to, try to say it, I will, um, you know, I will absolutely make a muckery of it. Oop. So I won't try. I'll just call it Pool 21. This is 20. Pool 20. Yeah, and as I say, I'm just going to fish this down to the bridge. Uh, and then I think I'm going to call it quits. I've got to get everything ready to go back. Enjoyed my trip again tremendously. I love Scotland. I absolutely love Scotland. It's next to Cornwall, it's my favorite place in the world. Yeah, it's just so amazing. And you know, I said this before to local fishermen, you're so lucky to have this on your doorstep, you know? And I know the people that I've met, they all do really, really appreciate it. Hey. 
So, how is your season going? Have you managed to get yourself out yet? Love to know. Put it in the comments section. Let me know what you've been up to. Have you caught anything yet? Wee, blame neck. Yeah, have you managed to catch anything yet? Been on any amazing trips? Got anything planned? I'd love to know. Always very interested in what my subscribers are up to. So I just don't want to miss a trick, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, and of course, you know, as I said in the introduction to my video, I am a novice still. I mean, I've caught one Springer, which I caught in Tolkien. Did I mention that? Did I mention that to you? I can't imagine I've been going on about it be very unlike me but yeah I caught one at Tolkien <laughs> uh, so far this season and it was also my first fish I haven't been lucky enough to catch anything since um, so yeah what's been your experiences and also you know what advice can you give me if there's anything anything I could be doing better other than catching fish what I will say, and, I, and I, I mean this with all, um, with all fondness, fondness, is that the right word? With all genuine sort of gratitude. Oh, are we in? Uh, no. And I mean this with all gratitude. Please. Don't comment when you see me cast, uh, then walk, then retrieve. Okay, essentially, it's it's a it's a problem uh, of being a man. <laughs> you know, I can't multitask, so I'm concentrating on talking to the camera. Yeah, recording my experiences, and I will sometimes, rather inadvertently. I will, I will walk, I won't do it in the right order, okay? But just, just trust that I do now know what I'm doing from that perspective. I do listen to what everybody says. Uh, I am listening and I do what I'm, I do what I'm told, so to speak. Uh, but sometimes I might get it all mixed up and that's simply because I'm trying to concentrate on too many things at once. Like my ex-wife used to say, can never do, can never multitask. Ah, uh, it's probably true, unless I was interested in what it was I was doing. <laughs> so it's like a, a rock out there, which I'm just trying to target. Um, and then there looks like another boil there. So I'm just kind of wondering where the fish might be sort of stuck in behind it. And just see. <sighs> Yeah, I'm just sort of tempted to find out if there's anything down in, in between those rocks. So I'm just working my way down to the end of pool number 20. Uh, nothing yet. Otherwise you'd have been the first to know. It speeds up a little bit around the corner. I think it also might deep, uh, deepen up as well. So, uh, as we get down towards the bridge, it's quite sort of sandy where I'm stood. Yeah, so I bought this uh, ticket today, this day ticket, from Mortimer's in Grand Town on Spey. And it costs me £20. And for that £20, I mean, I tell you what, it's, I have covered this before, actually. And I probably sound a bit like a stuck record, but for... 20 pounds there's more there's more fishing here that you can cover in 20 pounds and i don't know what it is for the week but i think it's like 20 pounds before uh, until the end of march and then i think it moves up to 50. but even then 50 quid on the amount of water you could fish is uh it's an amazing amount Ooh. Oh, 
we got here? I think we've got a trout on. Yeah, it's a trout. Doesn't feel like uh, anything else. It's a little trout. It's a little wee trout. Trouble with having, hope, I'm kind of hoping it's going to come off really because Come here little mate. Not bad. Little brown trout. Safely away. Christ, that water's cold. Ooh! <laughs> All right. I took my time through this, so I spent probably about an hour, an hour and a half. I think it's coming up to about half past two now. I mean, I've looked at this, uh, I've driven past this stretch of water quite a bit over the last uh, 10 days or 14 days I've been up here. I always thought it looked uh, looked pretty promising. Certainly it'll be amazing I think if you're coming here for brown trout. <laughs> yeah, I mean a good couple of, one pretty decent size for a brown trout. You know, what was it, like a pound maybe? A pound and a half? Pretty decent size. <laughs> I think I've seen some grayling as well, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the pace starts picking up. There's a few sort of uh, uh, like boils out there and uh, some faster water. Uh, so I just fished this, probably got another hour or so. Let's take my time, enjoy this wonderful weather. Probably the you know, you can never have the perfect weather, can you? Should be overcast and all that kind of stuff, but uh, you know, but still, it's better than it has been. I could have gone fishing on Saturday. Um, so this today's Monday, by the way. This is Monday, the 27th of March, when I'm recording this. So it really is my last day in March, and then I've got to make my weary way back and breaking up the journey as usual with uh, actually having a couple of nights at uh, in the lake district just because i normally use uh trout beck uh it's called trout beck head i think caravan and camping site normally use that as my sort of first stop that's about about five and a half hour tow uh, with the caravan I think I might have said in previous videos, I don't like to be towing for much, much longer than, uh, than five or six hours. It's, it just becomes mind numbing, you know, really boring uh, and quite, uh, not stressful, but certainly it's tiring because you're, you're pootling along at about 50 or 60 miles an hour on the motorways and the A roads. That's one thing I must say about uh, certainly getting up here. It's pretty easy. Uh, the, the road system is, is pretty good and certainly up here in Scotland they, they certainly seem to be used to dealing with uh, icy roads and snow and, what, and, the, and the like. You know, we get a dusting of snow down, in, uh, down my way and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> so, you know, they certainly seem to be uh, dealing with it in the right way. Right, so I fished uh, most of <clears throat> most of this pool in the river, but then there's a rock here, and it just started to get really deep, really close to the bank. And I just thought, now I'll pop out, fish the rest on the bank, and then I'm looking down here, and there's a couple of uh, 
like um, quite big boulders. Um, yeah, so just we're going to fish for another 10 minutes or so. Hello, what's going on here? No. Yeah, just going to fish here for 10 minutes or so. I'm just coming down quite close to the bridge. This is where the, uh, the beat ends for day tickets. I understand that if you take a week ticket, you can also access part of Upper Grant uh, fishing, um, which includes things like, I think it's called the long pool because it's long. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll just, um, Maybe when I come back up next time, I'll go for a week ticket up here. Certainly, sort of like June, July time, maybe if I'm in this area, I'll do that. But I would certainly recommend it for value. They've got um, quite a distance on the spay, uh, quite, a, you know, quite a lot of fishing. And I actually talk about this in a, in a video, one of my first ever videos I recorded last year. Um, and I'll put a link to that uh, video uh, somewhere on the screen here somewhere or in the in the description uh, if you want to take a look at that but it's it's I don't like watching my old videos because they're like the first videos I ever created and they're certainly not to the quality or the standard that I really like to produce now but nevertheless there's some good fishing I remember that when I was fishing up there it was like minus two or something like that it was blowing a gale uh, and I was being battered by this really strong wind and but I'd only just started I'd only just started my like my salmon fishing adventure so I didn't know whether that was the type of weather you went out in or not uh, I think I'm just going to end up catching the catching rocks here as I'm going down anyway yeah so I'll fish down here now for the next 10 minutes and then I'm I'm gonna start packing up as I say it's just coming on for three o'clock uh, now the uh, the clocks have changed, means that I can uh, be out to be a bit later, which is that's really quite cool. Looking forward to that. Okay, well that's it. It's about three o'clock now. Uh, I've got to get packed up, ready to go back tomorrow. Uh, so thanks very much for joining me for another amazing salmon fishing adventure. Uh, please don't forget to give us a big like and subscribe. More fishing videos coming throughout the year. Now I post every Sunday at half past six in the evening so if you can't remember when that is make sure you hit the notification bell uh, so you won't miss any of my content thanks again for your continued support i look forward to bringing you another video very soon thanks thanks again take care proper job <laughs>